Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ajay. I'm a doctor from Bangalore, India. Netflix recently dropped the trailer of a four-part docu series called The Surgeon's Cut. And ever since I saw that, I had to do some research about it. So I googled it, and uh, I found a press release by the BBC. Turns out, it is made by the science unit of BBC for Netflix. What do you get when you combine the best science production team in the whole world, that is the BBC science unit, with the money and resources that Netflix has? you get a potential masterpiece and i'm expecting this to be a potential masterpiece there's no drama there's no there's no kissing there's no make dreamies this is actual medicine actual doctors doing much more interesting procedures than you would see on gray's anatomy here we are seeing surgeries being done on babies who are not even born yet in the uterus how cool is that we'll see brain surgery being done on people who are awake and speaking during the surgery and many more things like that and this has a bangalore india connection so that makes it much more interesting for me and hopefully it will make more interesting for you as well so let's watch the trailer and i'll break down and i'll give you details about what is being done who the person is and all that this should be exciting let's get started every time i go into a patient's brain to remove a tumor there's a crucial moment when things can change very quickly. Suddenly, I see myself as a samurai that is going to fight this extraordinary monster. We're now inside. Okay, that was Dr. Q, as he likes to call himself. His full name is Dr. Alfredo Quinones Hinojosa. I don't know if I pronounced it right, but he calls himself Dr. Q. Let's call him Dr. Q. He is a pioneer in using molecular biology and stem cell biology to treat brain cancers. And this guy probably has the most inspirational journey that I've seen in medicine. He was born in a poor family in Mexico. At the age of 19, he moved to the United States in California, where he worked as a farm laborer to make enough money to join English classes. He learned English and then he joined psychology in a community college in California where he was so good. He was then transferred to University of California at Berkeley, I think, where he passed with the highest honors and like any immigrant would do, he joined medical school and he, he just didn't go to any normal medical school. He went to Harvard Medical School where he passed with high honors again. And then he came back to University College um, in San Francisco where he did his surgery and neurosurgery training and his further fellowship in uh, stem cell biology and molecular biology. So he specializes in using stem cell technology and molecular biology to treat incurable brain tumors. And the surgery he performed was on a person who was awake and speaking. I'm a, a fetal doctor. Everything that seems important in pregnancy Kipros has had an yeah. impact on. Talking about Dr. Kipros, this gives literal goosebumps, right? I, I literally have goosebumps right now because this one man has done so much in fetal medicine. So he is a professor of fetal medicine at King's College London. That's where he studied and he has stayed there and he also has an organization called the fetal medicine organization or something that has donated millions i read around 45 million pounds for fetal medicine research so he has published about 1500 research articles and he has introduced a lot of things that i studied in obstetrics and gynecology so when i was reading up about him i was like yeah this guy did that and wow this guy did that so to tell you guys a few examples he introduced genetic screening and screening for uh, congenital abnormalities in kids basically what we use to screen for down syndrome and structural abnormalities in the uterus before the baby is even born and he also performs surgery on those unborn babies in the womb whenever it's possible to correct those structural abnormalities not down syndrome it cannot be corrected like that but if there are any physical structural abnormalities or if there is any problem with their uh, blood vessels and things like that so this guy performs surgery on unborn babies in the womb how amazing is that heart is the center of the universe when i first saw the child baby was gasping for breath because of the defective heart it's called this the heart need an operation otherwise he won't survive so that was Dr. Devi Shetty. This guy is huge in India, all right? So Dr. Devi Shetty, after training in India, he went to the UK to Guy's Hospital in London where he trained to be a cardiothoracic surgeon. He came back to India and he was the first person to perform a heart surgery on a newborn baby. He performed heart surgery on a baby who was just nine days old. 
and when mother teresa had a heart attack he operated her and he remained as her personal physician till her death in 2001 he established narayana health a huge health city in bangalore with the aim of reducing healthcare costs it started as a cardiac center but now has many other specialties as well the cardiac center is the biggest in the whole world the biggest in the whole world and i still remember when narayana rudayalaya was still like small and growing right so they used to send these brochures to all doctors so that they would refer cases to them so since my dad's a doctor he used to get these brochures and i used to take these brochures to school to discuss with my friends to see pictures of bypass surgeries valve replacements cardiac transplants and things like that and i used to think this is so cool and i think that was the first point where i thought of being a doctor because it just looked so so cool so narayana rudhyalaya and dr devi shetty they are trying to cut costs especially for bypass surgeries the common ones by cutting costs on scrubs by using cross ventilation instead of air conditioning and they have been quite successful in cutting costs a bypass surgery in narayana rudhyalaya costs around 1500 dollars equivalent and the same surgery in the us say in a place like cleveland clinic costs 106000 so you can do the math he's doing this so efficiently that in fact in some northern states in villages people call him bypass wale baba which basically means the saint who grants bypass surgeries so it's a very inspirational guy bus to me bus bus when i first saw the child baby was gasping for breath because of the defective heart this kid will need an operation just a small note personal note uh, so my research study was on these critical congenital heart diseases basically the ones that would need surgery before 6 months or 1 year of their life otherwise the baby won't survive so that is what he is talking about these critical heart defects that definitely need surgery so he specializes in that as well uh, in neonatal and uh, very young pediatric surgeries otherwise he won't survive Dr. Asher, you, you better know what you're talking about. And you're pointing too hard now? Uh, it's not perfect. When you see a virtuoso perform, you just know it. You have to have fearlessness tempered by fear of failure. So you know that the surgery has some danger. You could die. I could die. Yeah. Right. Pero también está arriesgando su vida. Yes, it's an incredible thing she's doing for you. I go in with the objective. So Dr. Asher is a transplant surgeon at University of California San Francisco she is a professor of transplant surgery as well as general surgery she is she is amazing okay the whole of her life she has dedicated to transplant surgery and its research she was the first woman to perform liver transplant and liver transplant is a very complicated procedure much more complicated than kidney transplant and heart transplants and she was the first woman to perform it in the world she was part of the presidential task force on organ transplantation and she was the president of american association of transplant surgeons so quite a long list of assumptions you've given them hope when they needed the most <laughs> thank you so much this looks like a happy heart that's what surgery is all about yeah you know, guys uh, this is the most uh, how would you say rewarding part of being in medicine it's that time when you actually put a lot of effort and you save someone and the family is just so happy to see that person alive and the way they say thanks like i've got gifts i've got sweets and all that things and it just just feels you know like something for all the hard work uh, that they put in okay so yeah that was the video and that was amazing so the episodes are going to be on netflix on december 9th i'm going to definitely watch them and i'll see if it makes me change my favorite subject from family medicine to surgery let's see if i make that change but you know guys hope you like the video if you like this video here is another uh, reaction video that i made recently you will like it make sure you click on it and watch that as well and i'll see you in the next video bye bye